because we have a lot of stuff going on, uh, a lot more than maybe ever before, and uh, I'm trying to continue growing and continue evolving the stuff that we bring you and make available, and also the ways that we can kind of revenue freedom, right? Because the the more I can extract resources from you, you viewers with your eyeballs and ears, <laughs> the longer I can do this for without having to go back and and uh, you know get a day job, as it were. So um, to that end. Uh, to that end, I want to announce one of our first products. I mean, we have a swag store with t-shirts and stuff. And, you know, that, that deserves showing off as well. So let me pull that up while I'm talking. Uh, if you go to disenthrall.me slash swag, you can find that we have released a new shirt, which I am quite pleased with. This shirt is the... Let me hide us for a second. This is the having pledged no faith, I break none. Obviously, this is a Lysander Spooner quote, sort of. It's a take on the Lysander Spooner uh, diatribe on uh, how you can't charge someone with treason if they never swore allegiance to you in the first place. It has our custom um, uh, Danish Jold logo on it, which is, you know, the uh, pirate from Atlas Shrugged. That's kind of the logo we put on a lot of our swag. And it has, of course, the Spooner quote, having pledged no faith, I break none. So get that now. Second of all, we have our first actual physical project uh, product in our in our actual physical products store. This is what we're calling the Road Pirate Defense Phone. And oh, I love that? this idea. I heard about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. So, so here's the idea for those that don't get it, because not everybody picks up on it right away. Politicians have scribbled on their magic paper, and they have made it illegal in certain places to, um, to drive your vehicle, to operate your motor vehicle while holding a mobile device. Whether or not you're doing it safely, they don't give a shit. The laws don't give a shit. That's not how laws work. Uh, they will pull you over and rob you or extort you. Uh, or threaten you with, you know, jail time if if you escalate uh, for holding your mobile device. So they have this other magic spell that they call the First Amendment that um, sometimes can protect you. It's like you're casting spells back at them, right? And so the purpose of <laughs> of this de- the purpose of this device is to be a First Amendment magic spell to cast back at them. So let's say you're driving along, you know, certainly never with your actual mobile phone, right? And let's say that somebody pulls you over. Uh, and let's say that you happen to have a mobile, uh, a road pirate uh, defense phone in your car. Well, when the when the uh, law enforcer walks up to your window, you say, "Oh, excuse me. Oh, what, what's the problem? Oh, I'm not allowed to use. Fo- well, this isn't a phone, is it? And you know, <laughs> and you can show them that victimless crimes aren't crimes, which is of course a political statement, which is of course supposedly protected by the First Amendment magic spell." Um, and so that, that's the idea. These are these are handmade uh, resin 3D printed uh, on a on an SLA printer. So pretty high quality material. Uh, they are hand painted. So don't expect like perfect manufactured products. These are, you know, handmade. Uh, they might have a few little defects here and there, but, you know, it's st- it, it does its job. It's a, basically a piece of plastic that has a political message on it for you to hold if you uh, yeah. get pulled over by a road pirate on the back. It has, you know, the disenthrall logo and lead yourself on the bottom. So we have these available. Now we did a small run up front just in case, you know, we, we wanted to see how popular they are before we put a bunch of money into manufacturing them. Uh, so if you go to our website, which I had pulled up, I don't anymore. I didn't There's see that. Are they like, what are they? Are they like 50 bucks or no? Um, let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. So oh. uh, there's there's a few different finishes. I mean, it's a piece of plastic. It's not going to be that expensive. But uh, there's there's like three different versions. There's an unpainted one that's twelve dollars, the cheapest, uh, which looks like this. There we go. Uh, and then there is a smoke resin, so it's slightly transparent. Then there's the you know solid one that's solid black with white text. Uh, and then there's the resin one that's slightly transparent in white text. And the prices kind of vary in between those two. Um, I don't think we have too many left. We only have two of the painted ones left at this point. We have two of the smoke resin with white text left. And I think we have five of the unpainted left at this point. So uh, you can find this. There's a link to it. If you go to disenthrall.me, there's a link in the description to this page as well. But disenthrall.me slash store. How am I doing as a salesman? I don't usually do this. 
That's great. And pets love them too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to ask you. So you used to be a cop. Would this work? Because it removes, doesn't it remove your reasonable suspicion that a crime was committed if, if it becomes more of a First Amendment holding this black piece of plastic thing? Or what would, what would you think? Be honest. Be, definitely be honest. I, I would have to prove that you had done the, which one you were speaking on. So I would have to say I saw Patrick's mouth moving while he held it up to his uh, to his face. And then you could say, oh, yeah, of course, that's what I do. I, I talk to myself. I'm a nut job and just make have fun with it and just, oh, yeah, I think I've got my real phone here somewhere. Let me look around. Um, and then I, I would assume that if if he said, well, let me look at it. I want to see when your last call was. You say, you know what? I, I will gladly hand you my phone. Let you look at it. If I may look at yours while you're looking at mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if it's going to work, but it seems to me like it's a pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's a good and, idea. And maybe he even writes you the ticket and you go to court. and You're like, I don't know why he wrote me this ticket. This is what I had. The burden of proof is yep. then on them to prove that this isn't what you had. Anyway. And how much how much fun would it be in court if the judge yells at you for texting while you're in court and that's all you have with you? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh. Uh. oh wait. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, so just to make the disclaimer for legal magic spell purposes, I'm not guaranteeing you're going to get out of anything. Uh, and I'm not trying to make it to where you can drive unsafely. This is... Uh, let's just call it a novelty. It's like, consider it on the same legal standing as like a dildo that people sell as a novelty. Like, <laughs> there's no guarantees. It's just meant to look good on the shelf, you know. <laughs> anyway, all right. All right. Uh, okay, so two more projects and then I will stop spamming. But this is real. These aren't sales. What I sales over. Sales done. Support the channel. You should if you like it. Thank you. Uh, now, sales over, I want to tell you about two new projects that we have started recently. Number one uh, is the Anarchist Dictionary. You can find this at anarchistdictionary.com. Um, and I think we might have somebody calling in here in a little bit that is going to be the managing editor. Uh, he is Christian from uh, Liberty After Dark, uh, has been hired to be the managing editor of this website. Uh, he's going to basically run the moderation team and uh, help me out in that way. The Anarchist Dictionary is going to be a website that is hopefully going to be a compendium of all things related to anarchy. I, it's going to be a list of podcasters, people with YouTube channels, people that make content, people that write articles, um, institutions like the Mises Institute. It's going to have information on them. Um, it's going to have all sorts of uh, detailed pages on the concepts that we talk about. Obviously, things like the non-aggression principle, but then even you know branching out into way more esoteric stuff. Um, it's going to have uh, definitions of all of the words that we so frequently struggle with, like what are rights, um, awesome. what does the non-aggression principle mean, what is anarchy, what is anarchism, <clears throat> what is anarcho-capitalism, what is voluntarism, what is you know all these words. We're going to have uh, definitions on here. So this is supposed to be sort of like a, an encyclopedia de la anarchy. And it's a huge project. And to that end, it is a wiki, which means that any of you that want to participate can create an account and um, become an author that works, obviously works under the moderation team uh, to make sure that it doesn't become a commie dumpster fire like Wikipedia. But... Um, the idea is that you guys can help and contribute and participate to make this thing a cool, a real resource. I see Liberty After Dark in the comments. If you have Skype, uh, I uh, call in and I'd be happy to talk with you uh, about our plans for this project, uh, Christian. So there is that. And then the last project that, how, what are we like? We're 15 minutes into announcements. My goodness, this is too much. I apologize, Shepard. Goodness. Okay, last thing I want to tell people about. I should have checked this to make sure it was appropriate before putting it on the screen, but I suppose it's too late now. This is memeticwarfare.institute. So one of the problems that people have had is that a lot of people and a lot of groups uh, are getting banned from all sorts of social media right now. The primary point of change in the world for a lot of people, Christian in the, in, in included has told me, Christian in the comments has told me that memes are what woke him up to anarcho-capitalism. 
And so sort of when, when I heard that and I recognized that, I realized that memes are a very real vehicle for changing people's minds or at least opening their minds enough to where conversations can be had. The problem is social media is on to us. They are banning groups that are um, sharing memes. Uh, Liberty, uh, message me on Skype and I'll call you in just a second. Um, just like send a message so it's at the top of my list and I'll call you. So the meme groups are getting banned, guys. And, um, and that has, I have noticed since a lot of the main meme groups have been banned from Facebook, I've noticed sort of the quality and distribution of memes has dropped. Now that we still have Twitter, we still have some areas of Reddit, not all, they're getting banned there too. Uh, so I had enough of that. So there is a, a technology out there online that is primarily for weebs to share mm -hmm. anime porn with one another. They're called burros. Uh, but luckily it's an open source project. Uh, and so I was able to fork their open source image sharing website and craft it into what you see here behind me, the Mimetic Warfare Institute. So this is an image sharing and tagging database primarily intended for liberty related memes. So if you are a meme lord, you have a new home. You have a new home, which as long as you're not posting commie awesome. stuff or Nazi stuff, you're not going to get censored. Uh, we have we have pretty simple rules on what will and won't be censored. Um, and uh, it, it, it's a it's a pretty simple site. It is. Think of it more of a database, though. This is not like a meme shit pile where you just show up and dump your folder without spending time tagging stuff. Think of this like a well-indexed, well-searchable uh, meme database. So when you upload something, there are requirements. You have to tag it appropriately according to the rules on the site. Otherwise, it just becomes an unsearchable mess. So uh, make sure you read the rules. You, everyone is welcome to participate. Everyone's welcome to upload their meme stash and get the dankness going. Uh, just please read the rules before you upload, because if you don't, you're going to create a lot of work for the moderators because they have to go behind you and clean up. And uh, that's not sustainable once this thing takes off. Anyway, you can see the top two tags right now are government and pig. <laughs> let's, let's, see. Uh, let's see. Interesting. Yeah. So that is that, guys. Uh, meme Lords, welcome. If you create, if you are a meme lord and you create your own memes, you create your own content, we have the ability for you to tag yourself as a meme lord so that people can uh, look at your entire library of memes. So get the word out on this and let's get it going. Okay, this concludes my spam. <laughs> <laughs> God, these are good projects, though. This, I, I mean, these are, I, I can't even imagine the, all the behind the scenes. Every little project I do, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes. And way to go. Thank you. Luckily, I've had volunteers that have stepped up in huge ways. Like, there's uh, three or four mods for the meme site that are learning how and figuring out how to, you know, construct a tag database in a meaningful, searchable way. And they're, like every time somebody uploads something, uh, it goes into a moderation queue and the mods take a look at it and make sure it's good and then approve it. Or, or you know, I think after three days it drops off if it's not good or something. Uh, and then, like I said, <laughs> let's go ahead and call Christian. Uh, if that works for you, I know we have a bunch of stuff we want to talk about. Absolutely. Okay. No, absolutely. Okay. It's kind of a free flowing deal today. Yeah. Let's see. Where is he? I Hold see. on one second. I see. Okay. Hey, what's hey, up, man? So I'm on mobile, just so you know, so excuse the audio quality or whatever. I'm getting ready to go back uh, home for my dog, so... It's just pathetic yeah. audio. You should be so ashamed. How are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, I'm doing fantastic. I was actually listening live uh, right when you called. I was, you saw me in the chat, but yeah. Excellent. Um, yeah, so uh, I wanted to announce I I'm naming you, dubbing you the managing editor of the anarch uh, anarchistdictionary.com. Um, you hey, are, congrats! He is. Yeah. He got his first promotion. <laughs> um, <laughs> he is. He has put together all sorts of documentation already to sort of organize a team of moderators to help make the site into something that's going to be super, hopefully, useful for everybody. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for stepping up as a as a volunteer in this regard, and I wanted to just kind of maybe talk about what you see and what you're interested in with this project, and uh, yeah, hopefully get people excited about it. Yeah, so we had had a conversation 
I think a few weeks, maybe even a month or more at this point about, you know, how awesome it would be to have like this lexicon of information on libertarian thoughts and ideas. And, you know, ever since, you know, we talked about that, it's just kind of been something that I was like, man, like I really wish, you know, like I could do that or, or we could make something happen. And then all of a sudden this program shows up for the site and, uh, I knew immediately that like, I, I, if, even if I, you know, no matter my involvement, I wanted to contribute and help build onto this. And, uh, I sort of just, you know, threw some ideas that I had around and, uh, I'm very excited to, to catalog and to ensure the accuracy and validity of the information and make it the greatest repository of information that it possibly can be. Cause I think that's something that's, it's so important. It's, it's really nerdy. <laughs> And some people may not entirely get it, but I, I do think it is an extremely important project. We had talked about a month ago about creating a, um, this is an idea that I've been talking to Kaysen about for years, but it's just the time that it would take to not only create the platform, but also to create the content is just, it was just totally out of scope for me. But the concept was, which I think this site may enable, um, is a tree, think of a tree of, or even a web of philosophical ideas. Starting from first principles, A equals A, and drawing an, a, a line with ethical proofs, with actual arguments from, let's say, A equals A, the non-aggression principle, all the way down to conclusions. Taxation is theft would be a conclusion. And so you could send a normie to that page for taxation is theft as a conclusion and why it's theft and why that's immoral. And that would link up to theft. Why is theft immoral? That would link up to maybe the non-aggression principle, which would link up to uh, maybe a conception of uh, what are rights and who gets them, which would link up further and further until we hopefully get to some foundational uh, principles of voluntarism. Uh, so think of it like a mind map or a tree or a web of concepts that are all interlinked that would allow somebody to either start, from, you know, start from anywhere in between. Like, oh, you, you want to learn about the non-aggression principle? Here's the page. The non-aggression principle affects, you know, abortion, uh, taxation, government, um, you know, all of this different stuff and in this direction. But it also, you know, well, why is the non-aggression principle important? Well, now you can work up towards more and more foundational concepts and philosophy. And this is a wiki, so all the pages can be interlinked and we can eventually over time create content to populate all those pages. And uh, I'm excited because if for, I want to do all kinds of other things with the wiki as well, like listing the people and projects and channels and all that stuff. But I'd also like to get this kind of web of knowledge going too. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, just the idea that someone could be reading, you know, an article perhaps as, you know, base level as what is anarchism and it brings up rights. And then right there is a link. Boom. You have your definition clearly of rights. Oh, well, what is uh, this part about sentience? Boom. Link. Definition. Clearly stated. Available for anybody to read and, and to, to easily comprehend. And it takes a lot of what I would call the, the elbow grease out of learning a lot of this philosophy that exists. I mean, just the, the breadth of material that you have to go through to kind of pick up where all these pieces came from is something that... I really feel like this is going to help make it accessible to a whole slew of people who never even knew that they may have wanted to know this stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm excited and I'm, and I'm super glad that you're on board because like Shepard was saying, I, I have a small fraction of the time I need to actually run all of these different projects. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I really depend on people to step up and I'm talking to the people that are watching too, if you're interested in participating and helping create sort of a knowledge compendium, join our matrix server we have a channel on there where we discuss this stuff. Also, just go create an account at anarchistdictionary.com and uh, Christian, and, and we'll uh, help you get started. And I, you know, we'll 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 get going here. All right, guys. Well, uh, yeah. Christian, anything else you want to talk about? No, that's it. Thanks for having me. Take it easy, man. Have a good one.